Some call it the sweetest place on earth, Hershey, Pennsylvania. And with Monday Night Raw rolling into town, it just got that much sweeter. We are inside the Giant Center on the road to backlash in just 27 nights. And we need to address a situation that has developed over the weekend on social media. It starts with LA Knight, the former Intercontinental Champion, who told WWE.com in an interview that he has made a list and simply checked it twice. And there's two pieces of business on that list. First, get an opportunity to move up the ladder and challenge Kevin Owens for the WWE Championship. And second, settle the score with Seth freaking Rollins. Now this goes back to the final Monday Night Raw before WrestleMania. Knight and Rollins taking on Kevin Owens and the new Intercontinental Champion, Sami Zayn. And as you'll see here, Knight suffering a stunner at the hands of the prize fighter. And you see Seth Rollins deciding the fight wasn't worth it. Stopped dead in his tracks and sacrificed his tag team partner to the Wolves. Knight wants to get back at Seth Rollins and earn a WWE Championship match all the while doing it. But the situation doesn't stop there. Another man hungry for a championship shot is the almighty Bobby Lashley. Lashley has been chasing a one-on-one -on -one opportunity for months. And after Lashley finally put to bed his issues with Solo Sokoa at WrestleMania, Lashley is looking to refocus. Bobby Lashley heard the words LA Knight had to say on WWE.com and decided to take matters into his own hands. Early Sunday morning, Lashley took to X and had this to say, it may be a new season, but I still have the same goal in mind. I want the one-on-one -on -one match for the WWE Championship I earned many months ago. I see LA Knight, a man who lost at WrestleMania, is trying to jump the line. No shot, not while I'm still breathing. If Knight wants a crack at Owens, he's got to go through me first. A passionate speech by the Almighty, which leads us to our main event later tonight here in Hershey, Pennsylvania. The Almighty Bobby Lashley set to square off with the defiant LA Knight in a matchup that you gotta believe will have future WWE Championship implications. But speaking of the WWE title, we want to take you back to last week on Raw in Madison Square Garden. Kevin Owens successfully defending the gold against the Celtic warrior Sheamus. But the story here is after the bell that made headlines across social media. The former champion, Seth freaking Rollins, ambushing Owens from behind, sending a simple yet effective statement that he was coming back for the title that he lost just a few weeks ago in the main event of WrestleMania Sunday. Well, certainly tensions running high as we enter Hershey, Pennsylvania, and we kick things off with the new World Tag Team Champions. The following is scheduled for one fall, making his way to the ring, accompanied by Jimmy Uso, representing the Usos from San Francisco, California, weighing in at 242 pounds, one half of the World Tag Team Just three weeks ago at WrestleMania, main event, Jey Uso alongside Jimmy Uso took down the self-proclaimed greatest tag team in Monday Night Raw history. The previous two-time World Tag Team Champions, Damian Priest and Finn Balor of the Judgment Day. But as we have continued to discuss on the road to WrestleMania and thereafter, the target has only gotten bigger on the backs of one of the greatest tag teams to ever do it, that being Jay and Jimmy the Usos. And these two men certainly have their eye on earning themselves a shot at the World Tag Team titles currently housed by those brothers in arms. The issues run deep between the Usos and the Street Profits, and they write the next chapter live here in the Giant Center as Monday Night Raw kicks off. And his opponent, accompanied by Angelo Duncan, representing the Street Profits from Chicago, Illinois, weighing in at 232 pounds, Montez Ford. 
Let us take you back to before WrestleMania just a few weeks ago on Monday Night Raw. The Street Profits ambushing the Usos after a successful outing right here on the Red Brand. Issues that stemmed from the Dusty Rhodes Tag Team Classic. The Street Profits tired of waiting in line. Tired of waiting to get another Tag Team Championship opportunity. Well, the Street Profits ended up targeting the team that would end up holding the World Tag Team titles, of course, again, at WrestleMania. It was a match of the year candidate between Damian Priest, Finn Balor, and the Usos. Certainly worth your time checking out that replay if you didn't see it. Main event, Jey Uso and Jimmy Uso adding another Tag Team Championship reign to their already long list of accolades and their Hall of Fame career. But Angelo Dawkins and Montez Ford back in action here tonight. And all the pressure is on the man on the right, Montez Ford, to get the job done and get the Street Profits back on the right track in earning a World Tag Team title opportunity. Well, certainly a capacity crowd and loud at that here in the Giant Center. Hershey, Pennsylvania, as Monday Night Raw is underway. Montez Ford and Angelo Dawkins made their bed. They may have to sleep in it. You got to believe Jey Uso is looking for a measure of revenge tonight. It is put up or shut up time for the Street Profits. They had an impressive outing back in the Dusty Rhodes Tag Team Classic in January. Made their way to the finals at the Elimination Chamber event where they were turned away by Jay and Jimmy Uso. Uso's rode that momentum into WrestleMania to win the World Tag Team titles. That could have been Ford and Dawkins had they were able to defeat the Usos back at the Chamber. Montez Ford and Angelo Dawkins might have ambushed the Usos last month on Monday Night Raw. But that attack means nothing if Ford can't get the job done here tonight. And Jay Uso all kinds of fired up. One brother in the black, one brother in the white, but a united front are the Usos here on Monday Night Raw. Jay Uso looking to keep the momentum going for the team that has been undeniable and undefeated since their Monday Night Raw return. As Montez Ford going to the outside here, looking to create some distance as Jay Uso was starting to get fired up. And here comes Jay, two pace suicide to the outside. Montez Ford knocked down hard by main event Jey Uso. Ford wants this opportunity for the Street Profits. Well, it's not going to be an easy chance trying to get there. There's a lot of teams, a lot of hungry teams at that in the Monday Night Raw Tag Team Division. They want to get their crack at the Usos. The Street Profits got a chance to stand at the front of the line tonight. Wait a minute, Angelo Dawkins up on the apron. I don't know what he's doing here, but obviously the Street Profits coming in with all kinds of different plans tonight. Oh, wait a minute here. Dawkins, do not let Dawkins get involved in this matchup. Jey Uso stuck between a rock and a hard place right now. Dawkins at ringside. Montez Ford on his tail. Jay just trying to fight. Oh, Jey Uso said, you want to get your hands dirty? There you go. Five fingers to the face of Angelo Dawkins. Montez Ford caught up in the winds. Jey Uso gonna steal the victory here. Not just yet. Well, still to come tonight here on Monday Night Raw. She might have come up short in the Battle Royal last week, but Cora Jade with a non-title opportunity as she goes one-on-one -on -one with the WWE Women's Champion, Liv Morgan. Also with that, the man who ambushed the Intercontinental Champion, Sami Zayn, seven nights ago, that being Carmelo Hayes, out for victory against Tyler Bate later tonight here in Hershey, Pennsylvania. Montez Ford out for victory. Could be going from the heavens, but nobody home. Montez Ford starting to build some momentum in this matchup, but just as you think he's there, Jey Uso making it come to a screeching halt. Remember, we are on the road to the Backlash event Saturday night, April the 13th. Live at 5 p.m. Eastern time from the Coliseum in San Juan, Puerto Rico. You gotta believe these two teams would love to be on that match card, on that marquee, on such a high profile night. Jey Uso off the elevation. But Ford gets the shoulder up this time. Jey Uso and Jimmy Uso, the team that has been undefeated since their Monday Night Raw returned back in January. In the midst of the Dusty Rhodes Tag Team Classic. 
Oh, mean, mean shot by Ford that time. They were able to turn away the New Day. Able to turn away Elton Prince and Kit Wilson of Pretty Deadly. And of course, the Street Profits in the finals. Own a victory over Cedric Alexander and Cameron Grimes as well. And then the victory over the Judgment Day at WrestleMania. Even Jey Uso with a one-on-one -on -one victory against Finn Balor on the final Monday Night Raw before WrestleMania. The Usos have been undefeated and absolutely undeniable since their Monday Night Raw return several months ago. But Montez Ford looking to bring that momentum crashing down tonight. Jey Uso getting out of that stretch maneuver right there. Montez Ford trying to bring a little bit of everything to this matchup. Some striking, some submission, some high offense. Obviously, Angelo Dawkins working in his favor as well. You know, credit where credit's due. You might not like the new attitude of Dawkins and Ford, but one thing you can't deny is their talent. And Montez Ford, with the singles opportunity tonight, showcasing his abilities from bell to bell. Damn near a complete athlete inside of that ring. The future is bright for the Street Profits, but will the future house a tag team championship match with Jay and Jimmy? Look at Ford just slowing down the offense here, trying to just pick apart Jey Uso. Ford realizing later in this matchup that as the things get going and Jey starts to get fired up, it is not in the Street Profits' favor. Montez Ford bringing a different pace, but revs up the engine that time. Springboard Tornado, and that could be all she wrote. Not just yet. Not just yet is Jey Uso still with life left in him. Jey Uso going to the outside this time. Ford on the top rope. Wait a minute here. Jey Uso stuck between once again a rock in a hard place. And I don't know what the hell. Miscommunication by the Street Profits. And Dawkins is out of here. Will Dawkins get his, caught with his hand in the cookie jar? Referee throwing him out of here. Miscommunication by the Street Profits. And it comes back to haunt him. Here comes main event Jey Uso. We're not just yet, Jay was getting fired up. Took his eye off the ball for one too many seconds. And this is where business picks up. This is where Ford's gotta capitalize. Or will Jay Uso turn away the challenge of the Street Profits once and for all? Belly to back that time, and now Ford going to the top. Jay is in trouble from the heavens, and it lands flush. Montez Ford into the cover. He got him. Montez Ford with the victory. Wow. Here is your winner, Montez Ford. The Street Profits making some noise. Montez Ford may have just earned a future World Tag Team title opportunity. Coming your way on Saturday night, April the 13th, witness the aftermath of WrestleMania as the superstars of Monday Night Raw and Friday Night SmackDown head to San Juan, Puerto Rico for the 2024 Backlash. This international live premiere event streams live at 5 p.m. Eastern time on Saturday night, April the 13th. And as a new season approaches, what will these superstars have in store? You haven't seen anything yet, and nothing can prepare you for the backlash. Last week here on Monday Night Raw, cameras caught up with the Celtic warrior Sheamus backstage, and unfortunately it was not in a pleasant meeting. Ambushed by the harbinger of doom, Karrion Cross. These two's issues go way deep, and obviously Karrion Cross still reeling after that six-man tag team loss back on WrestleMania Sunday. This is WWE.com exclusive footage after Monday Night Raw went off the air. And just not something you like to see for a man in the Celtic Warrior, Sheamus, who had just competed in Madison Square Garden in the main event. We hope to have more of an update on Sheamus' situation as the night goes on, but it's time to refocus. Action is on hand. The following is scheduled for one fall, making his way to the ring from Dudley, England, weighing in at 175 pounds, Tyler Bay. 
Well, you gotta wonder where Tyler Bate is gonna end up as the 2024 Draft Lottery approaches. It is coming your way live on Monday Night Raw, Monday night, April the 8th at 5 p.m. Eastern time. It's gonna be a live premiere event that'll truly shake the WWE to its core. The 2024 Draft Lottery. The big strong boy, Tyler Bate, participated in the Intercontinental Championship Eliminator on the road to WrestleMania. He was turned away by Tommaso Ciampa in the opening round matchup. A phenomenal match last month here on Raw. Tyler Bate looking to get back in the winning ways and possibly get back on the chase for the Intercontinental Championship live here tonight in the Giants Center. But obviously a big, tall task, if you will, with a man who has got a target on his back, I am sure, after ambushing the Intercontinental Champion himself, Sami Zayn, seven nights ago in the Garden. They call him, him, the former NXT Champion. And a man who is nearing one year on the Monday Night Raw roster is looking to break out on the scene once and for all in 2024. The Trick Mellow Gang, certainly not afraid to get their hands dirty. And his opponent, accompanied by Trick Williams, from Boston, Massachusetts, weighing in at 210 pounds, Carmelo Hayes. Well, let us take you back to last week. Sami Zayn successfully defending his Intercontinental Championship against the Judgment Day's dirty Dominic Mysterio. But it was after the bell that Carmelo Hayes hit the ring, ambushed Sami Zayn from behind, and certainly drew the line in the sand that Melo wants a shot at the Intercontinental Championship that could have been his back at WrestleMania had it not been for Sami Zayn. Championship over the skull, and a message sent loud and clear in the world's most famous arena. Carmelo Hayes also participated in that Intercontinental Championship Eliminator. He went one-on-one -on -one with Sami Zayn and Melo had his hand on the ropes when Sami Zayn went for the three count. It went unnoticed by the referee. I'll even bite. Melo got a little bit screwed on that night. Going back over a month here on Monday Night Raw, but the result is the result. Sami Zayn made his way to WrestleMania and Melo is back of the line, at least for now. Melo's got a chance to certainly jump the line here tonight. The big strong boy, Tyler Bate, not an easy opponent to keep down. Tyler Bate, one of the very few men who owned victories over Seth freaking Rollins during his WWE Championship reign from August all the way to WrestleMania. Tyler Bate not to be taken lightly as Carmelo Hayes is finding out in the early moments of this match, Bate might have been a little overzealous. Carmelo Hayes chomping at the bit for championship gold here on Monday Night Raw. Victory tonight could certainly put him in the driver's seat to number one contendership, and obviously Melo, although getting rocked with that elbow by Tyler Bates, has got the momentum on his side and has got the advantage here tonight. Trick Williams at ringside has been known to play an X Factor, certainly more often than not, in Carmelo Hayes matchups in the past. You know, I'll be the first to say it, Trick Williams stuck his nose in so much business of Carmelo Hayes' every time he's here in action on Monday Night Raw. I think luck just came back to bite Carmelo Hayes in the first round of the Intercontinental Championship Eliminator. Trick was getting involved left and right in that matchup against Sami Zayn. Melo had his hand on the ropes and I'll bite. I just don't think luck was on Melo's side. But Melo trying to make his own luck here tonight over the top rope. Taking down Tyler Bate. We could talk about Trick Williams. We could talk about the underhanded tactics that the Trick Mellow gang is known to implore. But at the end of the day, Mello is a former NXT champion, a former North American champion, former Cruiserweight champion. Made a lot of noise down on the black and gold brand for a reason. And maybe the results haven't gone his way a lot here on Monday Night Raw over the last 10 months since his Raw debut. And it may not be going his way if Tyler Bate has anything to say about it. It is anybody's ball game. Tyler Bate almost had the victory there. Melo saying otherwise. Sami Zayn, I'm sure, has got a close eye on this matchup. Looking at the man in Carmelo Hayes who ambushed him last week in New York City. 
On the other side, he realizes Tyler Bate hungry for opportunity as well. But anything Tyler Bate had intentions for tonight, such as getting a victory, may have just come to a screeching halt by hands of Mello. DDT on the apron. Tyler Bate trying to find a way back in this matchup. But you gotta imagine that his bell has been rung. Rick Williams again trying to get involved in this matchup. Meanwhile, Carmelo Hayes going for the victory over the big strong boy. But Tyler Bate, that intestinal fortitude that he's known to implore, keeps him going momentarily. But that may be all she wrote. First 48, Tyler Bate. If the bell wasn't already rung, there it is. Well, a great effort on both sides of the ring tonight. But Carmelo Hayes scoring a victory. Trick Williams looming at ringside. I'm sure it didn't help Tyler Bates focus but at the end of the day. No excuses. Melo is your victor. Here is your winner, Carmelo Hayes. Carmelo Hayes looking to earn his number one contender show. Oh, oh, wait a minute. Sammy Zane, the Intercontinental Champion. Anything you can do, he may do better. Zane dishing it right back to Mello after the ambush seven nights ago in Madison Square Garden. Mello just trying to get the Intercontinental Champion off his back. And oh, wait a minute here. Sami Zayn may have been overzealous. Mello dropping the Intercontinental Champion for the second week in a row. An interesting situation continues to develop here on Raw. Prepare for the most exciting 10 minutes, a fast paced 600 seconds, and all the action you can handle. Coming your way exclusively every Wednesday to the Noah Nation Gaming TikTok, the superstars of Brawl, and SmackDown race to the finish line on Velocity. A new season in the WWE is upon us, and you haven't seen anything yet. Don't miss Velocity every single Wednesday, only on TikTok. And this coming Wednesday on TikTok, on Velocity, you can see two Raw superstars collide in the middle of the ring as Baron Corbin goes one-on-one -on -one with the recently returned Big Brunson Reed. That action is this Wednesday, only on the Noah Nation Gaming TikTok channel. But still so much more action to come here in the Giant Center. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making our way to the ring from Elmwood Park, New Jersey, the WWE Women's Champion, Liv Morgan. Liv Morgan walking down the aisle for the first time since WrestleMania Saturday when she accomplished the dream of a lifetime, turning away the challenge of the Eradicator, the Nightmare Rhea Ripley, ending her reign of dominance at the top of the women's division and leaving the grandest stage as your new WWE Women's Champion. Well, last week, eight women competed in a battle royal to see who would challenge Liv. Tiffany Stratton was the last woman standing, but the runner-up, Cora Jade, looking to break through the glass ceiling here tonight on Raw. And from Chicago, Illinois, Cora Jade. A great performance by Jade seven nights ago, but to the victor goes the spoils. And we can confirm that coming up on Saturday night, April the 13th at Backlash. The WWE Women's Championship from Monday Night Raw will be on the line as the number one contender, the Buff Barbie, Tiffany Stratton, takes on the new Women's Champion, Liv Morgan. And it's certainly gonna be a great matchup coming your way in less than a month's time. San Juan Puerto Rico already signed Liv, Tiffany one-on-one. -on -one. But Cora Jade is looking to break out in the 2024-2025 season. Are we living in the generation of Jade? That is what Cora is trying to prove here on Monday Night Raw. The bell has sounded. We are underway. Obviously, the championship is not on the line tonight. As we mentioned, Cora Jade coming up short in the Battle Royal last week after a great performance. Made it to the final two with 
The Buff Barbie herself, Tiffany Stratton, but Cora Jade not far behind. Getting this one-on-one -on -one matchup against Liv Morgan tonight. And even though the title may not be up for grabs, gotta imagine a victory for Cora Jade may just put her in line for a future women's championship opportunity. A lot riding on this matchup tonight between one of the hot young stars here on Raw and Cora Jade and the champion of the division herself, Liv Morgan. Look at Liv throwing some strikes in the early going. Wanting to see the best out of Cora Jade. You gotta commend Liv Morgan. Wanting to come out here and fight here tonight. My goodness. Early moments of this matchup might have been a knockout blow. Nobody home off the senton. Here we go. Women's division action. Live and in living color. Giant center, Hershey, Pennsylvania. Cora Jade looking for her breakthrough opportunity. And she has got her foot on the gas pedal right now. Liv Morgan for months lived in her own head, trying to right the wrongs of the Royal Rumble. She did so back at WrestleMania, ending the reign of Rhea Ripley, the reign that ruled with an iron fist at the top of the women's division. Liv Morgan finding out firsthand, however, that when you're the champion, the target is on your back. Obviously, this is not Liv's first reign at the top. She has been here before, but you got to imagine that the victory at WrestleMania, the biggest win of Liv's career, is certainly the most important championship reign that she has ever held. Tiffany Stratton coming for her opportunity Saturday night, April the 13th. Cora Jade coming for her opportunity in her own way here tonight on Raw. Take nothing away from Jade. She held gold down in NXT. Coming to hold gold in the near future, possibly here on Monday Night Raw. Again, backlash is coming your way Saturday night, April the 13th. Going to be live at 5 p.m. Eastern time. San Juan, Puerto Rico. The Coliseum going to be rocking as Raw and SmackDown superstars are going to be under one roof at Backlash. Look at Cora Jade putting up a fight. My goodness, Shining Wizard. And that could be all she wrote. That's going to be a rope break there. Referee John Cohn saying Liv Morgan too close to the ropes to call victory. Cora Jade's got to keep this offense going. Great action so far. Jade is pushing the pace. Giving Liv a little bit of everything in there. Just trying to wear down the champion. Jade obviously knows the opportunity at hand. And I'm sure has a mutual respect for Liv Morgan, respecting the champion's abilities in between the ropes. And Cora Jade wants to move up the ladder here on Monday Night Raw, once 2024 and 2025 season to go much better for her than the last one did. It starts with matches like tonight. Liv Morgan just trying to find her way back into this matchup. May have been underestimating the young and yet hungry Cora Jade. And look at Jade again, trying to wear down the champion bone by bone. You got to give credit to the young, hungry generation of Jade. Knee into the corner. That might do it this time. Liv Morgan with the shoulder up of Cora Jade. Cannot get frustrated. Has to realize that she is on the right track. Wearing down Liv Morgan. Not let her own frustration allow Liv to capitalize on a window of opportunity. Cora can't make a mistake in there with the challenger. Or Liv's going to make her pay and make her pay in a possibly embarrassing fashion. Drop toe hold, just walking over the lifeless body of Jade. Counter by Liv. Kick to the gut. Man, great action between these two women. Code breaker. Cora Jade. Is she down? Is she out for good? Oblivion, not just yet. Cora with the counter. Cora J did her homework on her way to Hershey, Pennsylvania. And another cover not gonna work out. Remember, ladies and gentlemen, this Wednesday afternoon, it is only coming your way on the No Nation Gaming TikTok channel. You can see these two Raw superstars collide. Baron Corbin, one-on-one. -on -one. But the man who made his return in the Big Apple last week, that being big, Bronson Reed. Only on TikTok is WWE Velocity each and every Wednesday. Cora Jade missing wildly moments ago. Liv Morgan looking to make her pay for that mistake. These are the mistakes we were talking about a few moments ago. Cora leaves them open. Liv is going to find a way to capitalize. 
the cover, and Jade with the shoulder up again. I'll tell you, win, win lose, or draw, Cora Jade back to back weeks so far with impressive appearances here on Monday Night Raw. Made some noise in the midst of the Battle Royal, but just came up short. To the buff Barbie, Tiffany Stratton. Will it be Tiffy time? We will have that answer Saturday night, April the 13th in San Juan, Puerto Rico. Liv Morgan going to the top. Look at us send an emphatic message to the number one contender. Liv missing wildly off the drop kick. Cora Jade locking out. 24 hours removed from St. Patty's Day. Super kick right to the jaw. Could Cora Jade be on the verge of the biggest victory of her Monday Night Raw career? Liv Morgan set her to the top rope and down to the floor of the Giant Center. High profile match for that young lady in the black and pink. Just trying to get the champion back inside the squared circle. Liv's own momentum sending her over the ropes that time, but Jade gonna take advantage. Use ringside to her advantage and he can't knock her. Or a little rough around the edges. We'll get extreme if need be. Now Liv Morgan getting sent back inside the ring. Again, Liv finding out firsthand that there's a new target on her back. That being Tiffany Stratton, Cora Jade, women who are looking to rise the ranks of the women's division. You gotta imagine the nightmare, Rhea Ripley is gonna be coming around for a third go around with Liv Morgan in the near future. As Liv tries to get back in this matchup, all her focus needs to be on the generation of Jade as Cora is still in this contest. Cora Jade continuing to impress. I'm sure impressing the champion first and foremost. Brought to her feet, not by will, but by force. And now the champion in the driver's seat of this match as she's got Cora on the top rope. Reversal that time. Reversal right back. Another code breaker from an elevated position. Cora Jade in trouble as the champion with her eyes locked. Oblivion. The maneuver that defeated the Nightmare Rhea Ripley back on WrestleMania Saturday does the job here tonight on Raw. The WWE Women's Champion Liv Morgan surviving Cora Jade tonight and Oh, wait a minute here. The number one contender, the buff Barbie, Tiffany Stratton, eyeing up the champion, telling Liv Morgan face to face that your time is coming to an end, and it may be Tiffy time here on Monday Night Raw. The collision awaits Saturday night, April the 13th at Backlash. Well, business has certainly been picking up in regards to some of Monday Night Raw's top championships, the WWE Championship, and Kevin Owens himself, Sami Zayn's Intercontinental Championship. We have seen ambushes, we have seen brawls left and right just over the last two weeks as a new season has begun here in WWE. But coming up next week, all those issues gonna come to a halt as the WWE Champion Kevin Owens alongside the Intercontinental Champion Sami Zayn set to go 2v2 against Carmelo Hayes and the visionary Seth freaking Rollins. And my question is, can Melo trust Rollins? We saw what Rollins did to LA Knight last month. It has led to tonight's main event. Well, business pick it up. Huge tag team matchup coming your way seven nights from tonight, but there is still action on hand here in Hershey, Pennsylvania. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Colorado Springs, Colorado, weighing in at 273 pounds. The almighty Bobby Lashley. You know, you can't say Bobby Lashley doesn't have a case for winning a one-on-one -on -one matchup for the WWE Championship. He earned his number one contender shot back in October, was put on the shelf by Solo Sokoa. When Lashley returned and tried to settle those issues with Solo, it only bled into his one-on-one -on -one WWE Championship match back at the Royal Rumble, leading into a triple threat match. 
which obviously was not the plans of the Almighty. Lashley and Solo at each other's throats for weeks. It finally led to a conclusion on WrestleMania Sunday. Lashley defeating the street champ. Lashley wants his one-on-one -on -one match for the WWE Championship. And you can't knock the Almighty for looking at a guy like LA Knight, who did in fact lose at WrestleMania, wanting to jump the line. Tensions running high may as well be the talk of the town in the WWE title division. And his opponent from Los Angeles, California, weighing in at 241 pounds, LA Knight. But to play devil's advocate, let's look at the other side of the coin. LA Knight might have lost at WrestleMania, but that was his first loss since last June. LA Knight held the Intercontinental Championship from July 2023 at Money in the Bank till March 2024 at WrestleMania. Knight has no doubt become one of the faces of Monday Night Raw, so you can't discount LA Knight throwing his name into the hat for a future WWE Championship match. Case is being made on both sides of the field, and it has led to this. LA Knight wants to prove that he should be next in line for Kevin Owens and the WWE Championship. Lashley believes that opportunity is already his. And then what about the visionary Seth freaking Rollins, who's obviously not done with Kevin Owens? The ambush last week, the tag team match next week here on Raw. So much action. And it all could be leading for these superstars to future WWE title matches. And you gotta wonder who Kevin Owens could be looking to defend his championship against. Certainly more questions than answers as your main event here in the Giants Center. Hershey, Pennsylvania is underway. The almighty Bobby Lashley one-on-one -on -one with the defiant LA Knight. This may not be an official number one contenders matchup, but wait a minute, Lashley over the top, my God. The almighty soaring through the skies. And you know, I'll tell you, we'll get back to what I was going to say in a moment, but listen to the capacity crowd here tonight. Hershey, Pennsylvania, sold out here in the Giant Center. You know, LA Knight, there's been a lot of respect between the WWE Universe and the Defiant One. After all those Intercontinental Championship defenses, LA Knight's got some supporters out there. And, you know, there may be some in the WWE Universe that believe that Lashley is barking up a tree that has passed his time. On oh, LA Knight means shot. Hold on a second. Trying to make a point and keep up with the action is easier said than none. Some out there in the WWE Universe believe that Lashley's still barking up the tree for a one-on-one -on -one WWE Championship matchup, but believe it's his own fault. But the matchup all the way back in January at the Royal Rumble became a triple threat to begin with. The WWE Universe always free to speak their mind. Whether they're in support of Lashley or in support of LA Knight, nobody can deny that these two top, top superstars on Monday Night Raw may be next in line for a WWE title matchup. Did you see the Dominator? The strength by Lashley. And the strength on display again as the almighty picking LA Knight up into the sky. Looking to make a statement here on Raw. As we are gonna say a few moments ago, this may not be an official number one contenders matchup, but you gotta believe WWE Championship implications are looming over this battlefield tonight. I'm sure Kevin Owens has heard the words that both Knight and Lashley have had to say across WWE.com and social media. And has got his eyes firmly locked on this matchup tonight. Look at Lashley go. I'll tell you, it is anybody's ball game as the defiant LA Knight looks to get back into this matchup against the almighty Bobby Lashley and he may have done just that. Lashley to the roll up here. These two men jockeying for position, but who is going to come out on the other side with their hand raised high? We find out on Raw next. Coming your way on Saturday night, April the 13th, witness the aftermath of WrestleMania as the superstars of Monday Night Raw and Friday Night SmackDown head to San Juan, Puerto Rico for the 2024 Backlash! This international live premiere event streams live at 5 p.m. Eastern Time on Saturday night, April the 13th 
And as a new season approaches, what will these superstars have in store? You haven't seen anything yet, and nothing can prepare you for the backlash. Well, before the break, LA Knight was getting back into this matchup, but the waves have come crashing down at Bobby Lashley, destroying the defiant LA Knight here at ringside. LA Knight is in trouble as Lashley looking to bring his dominance upon the Giants center tonight. LA Knight may just be a stepping stone to Bobby Lashley's road to a future WWE Championship matchup. All remains to be seen. There is still an opportunity for Knight to survive, but does he have enough left in him? Back into the ring he goes, taking out Bobby Lashley with the boot. Lashley, hesitation that time. Knight taking advantage. Into the corner he goes. Can the defiant one get back into this contest as these two heavyweights duke get it out here on Raw? Oh no. Last time we saw Lashley in this position, the whole ring imploded on Monday Night Raw. LA Knight with a superplex to the Almighty. Hershey, Pennsylvania, all on their feet as these two Raw All-Stars jock for position in your main event. Oh man, elevation on the neck breaker. You know, we talked about it a few moments ago before the break. You gotta believe the WWE Champion Kevin Owens has got his eyes locked on this matchup after hearing the words from LA Knight, hearing the words from Bobby Lashley. So many superstars in the Raw locker room want their shot, want to be next in line. Who's it gonna be? Will it be one of these two superstars? Bobby Lashley cutting Knight in half with a spear, but LA Knight is still into this matchup. A close call out of nowhere. Lashley exploded with the spear. Go for the hurt lock this time. LA Knight realizing this silver back as LA Knight trying to get him. Within distance. Another reversal that time. And another reversal by LA Knight. The crowd rallying behind the defiant one. Man, we have got a barn burner on our hands. This is Monday Night Raw, the second edition of the season. 27 nights from the backlash event in San Juan, Puerto Rico. LA Knight, eyes locked. Kick to the gut, blood, force, drama. BFT to the almighty. That's gonna do it this time, not just yet. Lashley survives. And you see fatigue and frustration setting in on both sides of the ring over the last few minutes. Lashley with the spear, but did not bring this matchup to a halt. LA Knight with the BFT does not cross the finish line. These two men doing all they can to prove that they should be at the front of the line to challenge Kevin Owens for the WWE title. Yeah. This matchup getting taken to the outside. Ashley already did a number on the defiant one at ringside earlier on. Going to continue to do so again. Oh no, face first. Off the floor of the giant center. Bobby Lashley, laser focused with one goal in mind. Seeing Kevin Owens and the WWE title standing across the squared circle from him. And if he's gotta go through LA Knight, then he will do just that. Knight trying to create some distance this time. Getting sent right into the LED post. Lashley on his tail. Two men once again jockeying for a position, but it's LA Knight getting the upper hand. And it's LA Knight starting to rally here. Kick to the gut once more, making a dose. A second BFT to the almighty. That's got to do it. No! You have got to be kidding. Bobby Lashley is still in this main event clash. 
If that doesn't tell you just how tough that Bobby Lashley is, and if that doesn't show you just how much Lashley wants a shot at the WWE title that he's been chasing since the fall, I don't know what will. You gotta give credit to LA Knight. Just staying on the offense here. Knight familiar with big time situations after holding the Intercontinental Championship for all those months here on the Red Brand. No stranger, a big fight feels all of these two superstars. Not one, not two, but three blood force traumas. And LA Knight scores the victory. What a massive win for the defiant one. Oh, whoa, 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 wait a minute. Well, Lashley obviously furious here. I don't know if that was called for. Now what? Seth freaking Rollins ambushing LA Knight in the aisle way. Oh, we gotta restore some order here. LA Knight getting a much earned, hard fought victory. Lashley flipping out inside the squared circle. And now, Seth freaking Rollins ambushing the victor in LA Knight. Lashley mouthed it off, Rollins mouthed it off. All these superstars jockeying for position to hold a number one contendership. LA Knight's not done. He said, you wanna fight? I'll give you a fight. Rollins, LA Knight, duking it out at the top of the stage. It all boils down to who's gonna be next in line. Who's gonna get Kevin Owens for the WWE Championship? The road to backlash, 27 nights from tonight, continues to heat up. Who's next in line? Who's the number one contender? We need answers here on Monday Night Raw.